Hey everybody, welcome back. I had a plan for this show, but it's been a crazy week, and so things have changed. I like to keep an eye on global events, and in just this past week, this is what I found in the news. The earth is on fire in California, with at least a million people fleeing the flames in the largest mass exodus that we've ever seen. All over the world, this year, tornadoes and floods, typhoons and hurricanes have been visiting us with increasing frequency and intensity. In Africa, Lake Chad, once the world's sixth largest lake, is 90% gone. 20 million people depend on that lake for their drinking water. And for those of us in America, much of the southeastern part of the United States is set to run out of drinking water in the next few months. In fact, one small town, Orme, Tennessee, near Chattanooga, is out of drinking water now. And Atlanta looks to be next. Then there's the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. America's already spent $600 billion on it, and Bush wants $50 billion more. America, too, is in a recession. Banks are losing billions of dollars. We're rapidly sliding into a depression. We can no longer afford to live in our homes. Foreclosures have skyrocketed. In Atlanta, Georgia, this past week, saw 6,000 foreclosures alone. And this is happening everywhere. It's happened to me, in fact, and no doubt to someone you know, if not you too. Usually this kind of news rolls right off my back. Not this time. We're over the tipping point. It's one thing to know the world is going to crumble. It's quite another to find ourselves in the midst of it actually happening on our doorsteps. Bottom line, the crumbling of the old world that we've been both dreading and looking forward to is upon us. The end is here. So I want to share some tips for navigating these most absurd of times. Have you got money in the bank? If you do, keep a close eye on the financial news and be prepared to withdraw your cash at a moment's notice. It's also a great time for creating islands of light, places of refuge where we of like frequency can gather together to co-create new ways of living. What effect is this having on folks? Some people are becoming extraordinarily kind and compassionate. Others will be going increasingly wacko in massive numbers. Keep an eye out for them. Now that includes us. A lot of light workers are indulging in increasingly self-destructive behavior and a lot of light workers are choosing to leave the planet. Now, if you're one who chooses to stay, it can often help to forget and remember. Forget about yourself. You can short-circuit the connection between you and the frenzy by helping support someone else. Uh, or watch a good light movie. Chick flicks are great. I love them. And remember, one essence of our true nature is eternal peace. Just remembering that can short-circuit that connection and instantly return you to sanity. And remember, it has been foreseen that 2007 would be a year of massive changes. Remember, all is in divine order. Divine order. Thanks for watching, and ta-ta for now.